The UCD Intel Master Scholars is a program that rewards creativity and innovation, something that this global pandemic is asking a little bit of us all as we adapt to the new normal. So we turned a live event into an online series. It's called Message in a Bottle. Enjoy. My name is Jonathan McRae. I'm a science broadcaster with News Talk and I'm a communications consultant with Whip Smart Media. And when I grew up, I was one of three boys. I lived with a philosopher and an artist. And whenever my mum tried to assign us housework, we each had our own way of coping. The philosopher would question whether or not the work needed to be done at all. The artist did something, but we were never quite sure what it was. And so I developed my own uh, method of, of coping, which was a communication skills. Although this is not something I ever thought was a marketable skill until I got much older. And so I, I spent my childhood not really knowing what it is that I wanted to be. And this came to a peak when it, it came to leaving cert, when everyone else seemed to know they wanted to be doctors, lawyers, or, or whatever it is they wanted to be. I didn't know. And so I went through the CAO form and literally crossed off every course until I was left with one, communication. And I suppose that was probably a sign. So I did communications in DCU. And when I came out, it was right at the top of the, the dot com bubble and I started working in technology because it seemed like an exciting thing to do and when that bubble burst I realized technology wasn't really for me in fact it was just one job that I did that I didn't like and I sort of cast out all of technology which was probably a mistake but it ended up being fortuitous so then I saw an ad for kids tv in the, in a newspaper and I said you know what I'll give it a go I was terrible. I was really, really bad. And I lasted one season before I was booted off the show. But I then moved to Young Adults Radio and that I was quite good at. And I really enjoyed that it's been one of three eight. I was there for a long time. And along the way, I sort of tried other creative endeavors. I was uh, a movie critic for a while. And uh, I also wrote for travel uh, articles. And I, I also wrote for a women's magazine. And so I really enjoyed the storytelling, this communicating part of my life. But I, I was really drawn to what was going on in the outside world. Science seemed to be exploding. Whenever we talked about it in the radio show, I slowly started to see that I was excited by this. And so I pitched a show to News Talk. And uh, weirdly and bizarrely, however I pitched it, they said yes. And that was 10 years ago. And so we've been doing Future Proof for 10 years. And about three years into that program, I thought, I need something else. And I set up a consultancy. I said, Scientists need a little bit of help sometimes telling their stories. And I know how to tell stories. And so that's what I did. I set up a consultancy, just me. And I did some work with some scientists and they like it. And they told other people about it. And I had one client refer to another. And uh, after seven years, I now have been training people all over the globe. I have uh, dealt with some of the biggest companies in the world. And I've trained all sorts of people on how to tell their stories and how to get their ideas to a bigger audience. People like rugby coaches, uh, scientists, uh, lawyers, and uh, executives from some fairly big companies. So uh, I've really enjoyed this weird journey that I've taken to get here, but it certainly wasn't something that was right in front of me when I was younger. Although if I'd looked for the signs, I probably should have seen them.